NISBA News is supported by the New York School's Insurance Reciprocal. Perched on a busy side street, the Fulton Public Library, a gift from Andrew Carnegie to the once thriving city, rests like an elderly person sitting on the porch, lamenting the glory days of the city. It's watched families come and go and industry rise and fall. Like many residents of this small city, it longs for the good old days when young people lived, worked, and raised their families here. This is Fulton, New York. High school students, sensing the decline of the city and seeking ways to revive pride in their community, sought to learn more about the history of the city that surrounds them. I thought it was a really good idea just bringing the community together through all of these stories. And once it uh, came to be what it was last year, uh, I thought it was really cool to see everybody got like a different point of view, a uh, different story. I thought that was really cool. The students identified several longtime community members and went for a chat. I think understanding people's stories, where we've been, where we are now, shapes our future and the stories we want to tell. The students came away with more than a history lesson. They learned that Fulton has a soul forged from the work of past residents who believed in its future. Having this program has given students the idea that, hey, maybe there is some value here and maybe there is some value in actually sitting down and talking to people in my community. School officials and community leaders hope the students' efforts will expand and lead to many younger citizens seeing Fulton as a place to continue calling home so that they too can write a chapter in the story of Fulton. I'm Casey Nicholson for NISBA News.